Dave Mazda, what's going on? Hey, happy to be back. Yeah, we got a lot going on in the markets, a lot to talk about. We do. And can we first, what I'd like to do, you know, folks, when you're going to go to the Direction website, or if you just hit uh, Banner, um, it's pretty cool. You got uh, now a, a text message sign up, right? Yeah, that's right. So um, what we found is, you know, more than ever, we want to have access to information. And when we have, we can trade from our phone, we, we decided it might as well make sense to sign up for text messages. Um, so there you're going to have information related to capital gains, income distributions, right. uh, new funds, for example. So all right there, you can just have it send your text. We're not going to spam you. Um, you can choose, you can sign up if you want it, but it's pretty handy. Um, oh, it's, it's, right I think it's a great idea, man. I think all of us, I mean, yeah, we have computers here, but I mean, I trade right off my phone. I think a lot of people do. Do you know what I mean? It, 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 exactly. Because they're so sophisticated now. There's no doubt about it, man. So check it out, folks. Okay. It's very easy to do. And the bottom line is if you trade these, um, you know, vehicles, uh, just sign up. It's worth it. Trust me. So market wise, we're coming into 2022. Hard to believe, right? So what are we looking at out here, Dave? Yeah, so it's interesting, right? So, um, you know, 2021 was a year where I think most strategists uh, may have gotten it wrong, per se, from a, t uh, from a full year perspective. It was going to be the year of small caps, right? It was going to yes. be the year of value. It was going to be the year of international. And again, what happened, you know, five stocks in the S&P 500 helped con contribute 35% of returns as the S&P up until recently was just kind of continually making a series of all-time highs. The setup now... Um, is a bit interesting, as you noted, um, coming, in, coming into this segment here, is we have the buy the dip happening, but we also have to kind of the sell the rally. Yes. So we're in a little bit of this kind of, you know, a trending environment, I think, as traders digest what's going on here with the virus, and then, of course, uh, the news coming out of Washington. So I think the trading environment's gonna continue to be fruitful, um, because I expect that we're gonna continue to get choppiness as we make our way and get some greater clarity of what's going on here. And you know what's so cool is that that you have so many different ETF structures now that you can get in any type of sector that you actually want to get in, which is which is really cool. Can, can I let me let me ask you something that over the weekend, folks, this is this news story is everywhere. Not that the you know I know this is probably, well, I don't know if it's a competitor really, but you know you had that Kathy Wood turning around saying that Arc folks, okay, and, and I don't know Kathy Wood, but. I know her enough because I see her because where our office is, she eats right down the street. Um, and what she said is that she said that ARC was going to compound at 40 percent annually. And I'm saying to myself, I mean, is I, I, I guess is that something that you can do? I, I'm, I'm trying to figure that out when I was hearing it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, OK, being up any amount of money is good. But saying you're going to be up 40 percent per year for a, you know but it's a deeply valued equity it's it's pretty wild man it's you know yeah i, I look i can't speak to that no i, I know i look or forecast but i think what's interesting here is the broader point is that we the one thing that did really happen in the last year was there was not a lot of support and it's particularly most recently for these unprofitable growth stories okay right they may still ha offer the disruption that we're seeing, um, but they, uh, they investors are really favoring more certainty and clarity. You know, high quality stocks. And by that I mean, you know, companies that are growing their dividends, things of that nature. More boring type staples. Yes. What we've seen though, uh, with the leverage funds, is there continues to be a bid though for semiconductors. Yeah. Um, so Sox L, you know, certainly has some ch choppy performance, but. Um, it's uh, we've still seen a lot of trading on that side. The other area that I find really interesting is people are plowing into Chinese uh, our Chinese uh, play okay. uh, CWEP, um, and that fund. If you look, it's 90% off. It's 52 week highs. It's you know had really ugly performances. There's been a lot of negative headlines with China, but we're seeing traders step back in there. And sometimes, not all the time, right? That that maybe is a sign when it gets that extreme. Performance is that bad, and we finally kind of see the trading community jump back in first. Maybe as a longer-term investment, China is going to offer some different opportunities. It certainly hasn't been uh, a favorable trade for the better part of the, uh, this year, though. Yeah, you know, I'm so glad you brought that up, though, because over the weekend, right, um, you know, what happens, folks, uh, on Bloomberg over the weekend, at, when they don't have sports, they have a couple specials. And one of them, Dave, was actually they had, they had a, a guy over in Hong Kong um, you know, an institutional guy talking about the amount of 
American institutions, not, you know, my retail money going in into China. Um, but the, the fund flow was pretty incredible. He was talking about even the last three months, which and the, the person interviewing was saying, well, what do you mean? Because like everything is bad in China. But we know, you know, in general, folks, that is when you normally get a turn, when everyone will say and and you can't put a fundamentally in your head because every everything coming out of there is like, OK, but that is that's really good to hear, man. That is absolutely great to hear. Listen, folks, just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see the direction banner. Hit that banner and you are off to the races. Well, listen, you have a great holiday, a safe holiday, and we look forward to speaking in two weeks from today, Dave. Sounds like a plan. Thank you. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, down 536. NASDAQ is off 197. S&Ps are off 63. We'll come right back. <laughs>